Oh, the North London Derby is just all about the buzz. It's great. It's the, it's the biggest game of the season. You get to the pub for breakfast time. You're out all day with your mates. It's just a great atmosphere. My brother's a Spurs fan, so it's even bigger in our house. And um, yeah, I mean, I, the only day that compares to it is FA Cup final. North London Derby uh, means everything to me. It's always uh, the first two fixtures I look for when, when the, uh, the fixture programmes called out. I was gutted when Spurs lost 2-0 uh, at the Emirates early this season. And obviously I'm desperate uh, for a better result at Wembley this time. The North London Derby is a funny one, I think, because both sets of fans seem to be uh, very pessimistic about their clubs most of the time. Uh, obviously now Tottenham seem to be in the ascendancy, but you know neither side feels confident uh, uh, when, when they're on top. I mean, as an Arsenal fan, I've got horrible memories of that 4 all draw when we uh, threw away a 4-2 lead late on. So it's a strange derby. It's not really a game I look forward to as an Arsenal fan but uh, always compelling drama nonetheless. The North London derby it means absolutely everything actually. Uh, I think to all Tottenham supporters, we've lived in Arsenal's shadow for far too long. Finally though, we feel like the balance of power is shifting. And let's not forget Arsenal, you should be back in Woolwich, South London. You're not even from North London. Yeah, my best derby memory is probably 2004 when we, you know, it was only a draw, it wasn't a win, but we won the league at White Hart Lane and that turned out to be the invincible season. Sort of first time I was sort of at age to really like um, appreciate that. So yeah, that, that was probably my, my best derby moment. My best derby memory is an easy one, uh, 1991, the FA Cup semi-final. I was at the game uh, with my granddad actually and, and it was a fantastic occasion. Uh, Paul Gascoigne's free kick, who could forget that? And uh, as an unbelievable uh, memory from the day. You can't look past Nicholas Bentner when you're talking about great derby memories. Brought on a substitute with Arsenal uh, uh, about to take a corner, ran on on the halfway line, didn't break stride before powering home a header to give us a 2-1 win. Uh, the, the Great Dane, uh, probably his finest moment in an Arsenal shirt. Is he going to have a crack? He is, you know. That's schoolboy's own stuff. Gascoigne's free kick. 1991 FA Cup semi-final. I was at Wembley. The place was absolutely jumping. Blimey, you want me to pick three players I'd take from the current Arsenal team? That is a, a tricky one. Definitely Meza Ozil. I think he's he is an underrated player. I can't understand the abuse he gets. Uh, I suppose we'll take a Bummy Yang for when Harry Kane's injured. Uh, maybe Maitland Niles. It could be some improvement in them, but I think the only one that would get into the, the starting 11 actually is Mesut Ozil, but we'll take the others for the squad. If I could have three Tottenham players, uh, well, I, thought, I mean, Arsenal's weakness is, is, is probably not in attack, so I'll overlook the, the obvious candidates and, and go for uh, Moussa Dembele in midfield. Uh, the goalkeeper, Lloris, I think will be a huge improvement on what Arsenal have got. And, uh, and, and either of the Belgian lads uh, at centre-back. Uh, at the moment, Spurs' team's very, very strong, so I've got to think long and hard about this. Uh, I think I'd take Nacho Monreal, who's probably one of the best left-backs in the league, gets a few goals, can also play centrally if need be as well. Uh, Jack Wilshere, although he can't stand the Spurs, I have to admit he's a class player, very, very good at picking those passes in midfield. I think I'd take him. I would also, um, I'm not so sure about the striker, Aubameyang, I'm not sure he, he dislodged uh, Harry Kane from the side, but Mesut Ozil, he's, he's, a, he's a class act there in an attacking midfield position. I'll, I'll definitely take him. If I can have three players, I just wouldn't do it. Like, you could give me you know, a million players, I suppose. I just wouldn't take any of them. It's just uh, no way I want to take any of them. They, they all they dive and cheat, and in the end, it's good as us anyway. So. I think my best bet for the uh, North London derby on Saturday is for both teams to score an over two and a half goals. For all that, Arsenal, um, there's talk of the balance uh, in, in terms of the shift in power towards Tottenham. They've scored in 44 of their last 46 North London derbies. However, Tottenham, at home to Arsenal, have scored at least twice in seven of their last eight Premier League games at home. Moussa Dembele to be man of the match at 14 to 1. I think central midfield is an area where, where Tottenham are really strong and Arsenal are, are certainly having, having issues. Uh, Dembele was, was terrific in Tottenham's win against Manchester United. Uh, at Wembley and I think he, uh, he, he could have a, a major influence on this game. Tough one now, I think I'd just be uh, going for Spurs to win the match, I think they're around even money, got a very good record at home to Arsenal in recent years, lost one of the last nine in the Premier League. You know, best bet, there's no point messing about, you know, Spurs will obviously bottle it, so just back Arsenal straight up, nice fresh side, Spurs are knackered lately, so yeah, I think we're doing easy. I feel like I've been backing two all in this fixture for, for most of my adult life. It, it looks like a big runner given these two sides and, 
for the history of goals. So, so yeah, the two all draw for me. Uh, they're usually tight games, North London derbies. I'll go for Spurs to win 2-1. I think the score will probably be 2-0 Arsenal. Score prediction for Saturday is a Tottenham 2-1 victory against Arsenal.